Ongoing water restrictions in Williamson County are still impacting many homeowners. Little rain and record-breaking triple digits only adding to concerns of water shortages. The city of Georgetown is trying to get ahead of it and just signed an agreement to reserve water. As KXAN investigator Arzo Dost explains, that may be relief for one growing city, but some landowners say they're worried about the rest of the county. We've managed to keep all the stuff right around our house alive by hand watering that. Dustin Baxter has been limited to only hand watering since July. His neighborhood in Liberty Hill and others are under stage three water restrictions. It's hard to say if the, if the lawn will come back. We'll probably end up losing quite a bit of our landscape. Baxter's neighborhood is on the western edge of Georgetown service area. The city said it had to extend water restrictions because of the drought and supply challenges. We have uh, continued high demand for water in our water district, as well as we've had some issues with getting contracted water and then uh, having some of our capital improvement projects that were planned to be online this summer have not been online yet. The city has also been looking at long-term demands as growth continues in the area. In August, it entered an $11.8 million two-year agreement to reserve treated groundwater from the Carrizo Wilcox Aquifer in Robertson County, northeast of Austin. Right now what we're doing is a reservation agreement. It preserves our rights to uh, contract for that water. Uh, and then over the next two years, we're going to be working on a water supply agreement, which will outline the timing and how that water will get within our water territory. That could happen by 2030, but the cost will be shared with customers through a rate increase as early as next year. We're projecting to have over a 10 percent increase. As Georgetown works to bring in more water, some landowners are pushing another solution they say could impact all of Williamson County. It's just uh, completely crumbling and, uh, and opening up. Keith Elliston shows us the impact of this drought. He has a well, but says his family is under what he calls self-imposed water restrictions. Their wells are running dry. We're having to dig deeper wells. Elliston, who gets his water from the Trinity Aquifer, says the county needs a groundwater conservation district, which regulates the spacing and production of water wells. It's the wild, wild west in, in Williamson County. He helped form the Aquifer Conservation Alliance. It just refiled a petition with the Clearwater Underground Water Conservation District in Bell County to annex Western Williamson County. Today, one person can pump unlimited amounts of water out, water their lawn, feed, you know, uh, provide drinking water for their home, wash their cars. Meanwhile, the two neighbors on either side are doing everything they can to conserve the resource. This one will make everyone lose their water, and there's no remedy for those that are being harmed. Ellison says the petition is being reviewed, and they should know more in the coming months. Arzo Dost, KXAN, investigates. The city of Georgetown says an underground conservation district would not impact the majority of its customers because most of the water supply comes from lakes. The city says it does offer rebates to water customers for things including irrigation checkups, rain barrels, and turf to xeriscape conversion.